limited liability company Manana Green was founded in 1994 in the field of grinding and trade of grain crops. In 2006, the management of Manana Green LLC took the decision to enlarge the scope of their activity, thereby having laid the ground for the creation of natural stone processing plant Manana Stone. The factory Manana Stone is situated within the administrative territory of the village Surenavan in Ararat region, 45 kilometers from Yerevan, the capital of Armenia. In 2007, the first processing line for the production of modular tiles was put into operation and the development of the only for the time being travertine quarry was started. The factory is equipped with modern stone processing technology from Italy and the project in general was carried out with the help of the Italian company Chamar SRL. Professional technical maintenance of equipment, recruitment and training of qualified personnel, compliance with safety requirements and strict quality control have become the permanent guarantee of product quality. In the beginning, the factory started to work on the basis of production of raw materials from one quarry. As mentioned, the quarry Goravan 1 has been developed since 2007. The total area of production is 20 hectares. Estimated deposits of travertine on this site are about 150,000 cubic meters. In 2013, the development of two more quarries started with a total area of 40 hectares. The mining fleet is fully equipped with cutting and drilling quarry equipment as well as ancillary units for loading, moving blocks and cleaning quarries. During these years, Manana Stone has expanded its production volume and variety, which resulted in the fact that the factory has now three production units. Each of them has its own purpose. The first production unit is engaged in the production of modular tiles and intermediate workpieces for other products with a maximum width of 60 cm. The cutting unit includes seven four-column block cutters. Five of them are two-disc and two are multi-disc for a maximum of 25 discs each. The four-column structure of machines has huge advantages in comparison with that of the two-column. These advantages are the cutting precision to millimeters and the cutting speed. The two-column machines have less strong structure. Unlike them, the four-column technology provides great maneuverability and most importantly, fast performance. The modern and unique technologies and the impressive production capacities allow establishing new partner contacts. Work is constantly carried out to expand the range of partners and conclude new contracts that will give us the chance to expand the market and enlarge the consumer circle, while the already established partner contacts will grow stronger thanks to new product deliveries and projects. We follow technology advancements and constantly update the equipment. The sound stone from block cutters is delivered to the beginning of the processing line. The first block of processing provides alignment of initial and final edges of the sewn material. The next stage is the calibration of tile surface by diamond rollers that line the inaccuracies of tile thickness after cutting. The same calibrating grinding machine performs the preliminary grinding of tiles, preparing them for filling with two-component polyester mastic. But before filling, the section of the production line equipped with dryers provides preliminary drying and warming up of the stone. The filling process is completed manually by specially trained personnel that cover the tiles with three layers of mastic. Under the influence of infrared rays, the two-component mastic hardens almost instantly. This allows sending the stuff at the given speed of production line into the master unit, the polishing machine. Despite the fact that this equipment is called polishing, it has many other functions. Such types of processing as fine grinding, honing, bush hammering, 
brushing and of course polishing. The polishing machine is equipped with 16 heads that allow significantly speeding up the conveyor movement and increasing its productivity. The penultimate unit is the multi-disc cross-cutting machine, which cuts out tiles of a predetermined length. To draw up the geometrical absolutes of the tile, the stage of edge calibration is very important. The tile is calibrated on width and length if the latter doesn't exceed 60 cm. Finally, the tiles are ready for testing and then sorting and packing in wooden crates. Armenia is a large country in view of stone processing and the quantity of quarries and deposits of natural stone that put it on the same level with European countries. Chemar, that is now part of GMM Group, entered this market for installation of its equipment and stone processing technologies. Considering the above mentioned, Chemar realized a big project together with Manana Grain, which owns one of the largest factories in this sector in Armenia today. This company, in partnership with Chemar, achieved great great results, productivity, quality of material and its processing that is on an equal level with the quality of Italian and European production in general. These two companies still go on with their cooperation, which is not limited to anything. Why? The world of stone processing is endless and the technologies are constantly improving. To sum up, I would like to thank Manana Green and Chemar GMM Group for their strong partnership that has to keep going. At the moment, Manana Green and its factory Manana Stone is the largest not only in Armenia, but also among some other countries in the region. The whole factory was equipped according to Italian stone processing traditions and with Italian technologies. After cutting the stones in the first plant, the waste started to accumulate. There was a need in treatment of this waste for further use. Thus, the second plant was constructed, which produces mosaic, window sills, railings, stairs and other stone products. In 2013, the third plant was built, where the production of large slabs of travertine, basalt and granite is carried out. The only stone which is imported by the company is granite, as in Armenia the extraction of this stone is limited. Since the company imports raw blocks of granite, it gets a competitive advantage on the domestic market compared with many importers that offer finished products. Production Unit 3 includes two gang saw cutters for soft materials, one for granite and a bridge saw for cutting slabs of custom sizes for individual orders. The processing line consists of calibrating and polishing machines. Two bridges of polishing machine work both independently and synchronously. All 20 heads of the machine are intended to handle all types of material in honed, polished and brushed finishes. Our strategic plan is to enter the Chinese market of raw blocks and slabs. The demand is very high on this market and the market turnover is huge. For reaching this goal, the plant has to prepare a large stock of raw blocks to guarantee uninterrupted product delivery to the buyer. The first step we took was to increase the area of travertine quarries. The main reasons for our success are First, the quality that meets all international standards thanks to good resource base and the newest equipment. And second, the glory of travertine made worldwide due to the beauty of Colosseum and other ancient constructions of the past eras. This material has a wide and relatively stable demand in the market. By the way, all expandable materials, diamond, abrasive tools, components for filling natural stone, are also bought from our Italian partners. Abrasivi Adria, Devil Disc International, ADI Tools, ILPAE Adesivi and others. We can ensure that the most modern technologies and highest quality materials for stone processing that exist in the world are applied in Manana Stone. 
Currently, the total production area is 60,000 square meters. The factory itself occupies an area equal to 7,500 square meters. Expanding its activity, the company eventually increased the number of quarries it operates. However, new territories are also explored, as the inner resources and productivity increase year by year. Besides all that, the company follows the demand tendencies in the European market, where grey or vivid color stones dominate today. I have to admit that our Armenian basalt and tuff fully correspond to these tendencies and are in great demand. Manana Stone offers the services of natural stone cutting and processing using the raw materials of the customer. The company also trades with stone care products. Now the production potential of the factory for facing tiles and slabs is 240,000 square meters per year. Nowadays, Manana Stone works on domestic and foreign markets, particularly with construction companies and trade operators. In Armenia, it cooperates with reputable customers. In many constructions of state importance, Manana Stone's products were used. One of the best examples of such projects is the new building of the National Bank of Armenia in the city of Dilijan. Manana Stone pays a lot of attention to the quality of works. It's due to the quality that we have the opportunity to ensure the production and expand the activity of our company. In the nearest future, we plan to increase the production volume up to 300,000 square meters per year. The company is open for cooperation, extension of the list of exporting countries and has no restrictions regarding this question. Thanks to the continuous upgrading of equipment, the installation of latest processing technologies, as well as the professional team that works with a lot of enthusiasm, Manana Stone managed to take an advanced position in the foreign market in a short period of time. Manana Stone's production is in great demand and is exported to Russia, Ukraine, Georgia, Kazakhstan, Bulgaria, Germany, Italy, Spain and also to several countries of the Middle East, North and South America.